was to find out about the good old-fashioned method of testing on a brainiac. First up, double-sided carpet tape. Just like the double-sided tape you use for sticking things like paper together, but a lot stronger. Right, this way. Turn around. Left foot up on this block here. Now lie back. Now stick him to it. Right, hoist him up. Let's do this. We should have used a smaller brainiac, really. This is all about how long this 14-stone lump stays attached to the board. When he's lowered, the tape takes the strain, with a little help from some nervous clinging onto the hand straps. Up he goes, then. But for how long will double-sided carpet tape hold out against the power of Isaac Newton's favourite force? Stopwatch ready? Yep. Go, start the stopwatch. Right. He's still sticking. He's still sticking. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh dear. It... Keep lowering. No! Oh. Mm. It wasn't brilliant. What was the time? 18 seconds, 72. Right, I thought it might do better than that. Right, I'm going to find something else. Get changed. So, 18.72 seconds for the carpet tape. A good start. It's the time to beat. Right, next up it is the office bully, the stapler. How are we doing? Get as many as you... Actually, this is going to take ages. Pathetic. Hang on. You see, that's not a staple gun. That is a staple gun. Hold on, there'll be a big bang. Oh, there you go. OK, here we go, lift him up. The pneumatic staple gun, more usually reserved for firing two-inch staples into concrete, packs a whacking 250 pounds per square inch punch. Sounds impressive, but only one way to find out. Right, time, start. Hey, this looks pretty good. Oh, I can hear ripping. That actually looked quite painful. What was the time? 11 seconds, 89. That's worse than the last one. Right, get changed. 11.89 seconds, then. The Staples couldn't take that Brainiac's load evenly, and it was his paper pants that finally paid the penalty. Next up, contact adhesive. OK, let's get this stuff on you. Put some of that on the board, and I'll put this on you. The important thing about contact adhesive is uh, it's pressure-sensitive. So, we need to think of a way of really pressing you onto the board quite hard. Yeah. So, what's that been? About ten minutes? Yeah, about that. That's probably enough, actually. Let's get him up. Hoist away. This stuff is meant to be even stronger than super glue. Yeah. Both surfaces get a spraying, and when dry, they form a firm grip, usually used for bonding wallboards and kitchen worktops. Right. This should be good. Go. Steadily does it. Down he goes, then, like some ritual human sacrifice. There's a lot of noise. That's the closest we've got to horizontal. Go on. 24.90. Hey, so that's it. That's the definitive answer. If you need to stick a brainiac to your ceiling, contact adhesive is the way to go.